Hello, everyone. It's such a pleasure to have the opportunity to dance with you today. My name is Megan. I have Philip here with me, dancing along as well. And we're coming to you from the studios of Canada's National Ballet School in downtown Toronto. One thing we all know is that our lives and so many things within our lives can be improved and be better with physical activity and with moving. Physical activity and moving is a great way to energy better when we're feeling a little bit more tired or sluggish throughout the day. Today, we are going to be moving together through dance. We'll begin with a quick warm up where you can follow along with us through the movements, and then we'll move into a bit of a choreography where we'll learn different qualities, different energies, different ways of moving our bodies together. Before we begin, take a moment to check in with your space. Ensure that you have the space to move freely. You can check that with your feet as well. Ensuring that there are no objects around you that you might bump into as you're moving. Today, I will be demonstrating the movements standing, and Philip will be demonstrating the movements in a seated position. Please do what feels best for you today. Let's get started with our warm up. We'll begin with our feet in a nice wide position, feeling the length through our spine and our abdominals. Shoulders are back, and we'll give the warm up a go together. Here we go. As we begin, we'll take a nice gentle roll of our shoulders, bending our knees and breathing in. And out, one more time, breathing in. Starting with your head to the side. Head, side, front, side, front. Excellent, try that up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Ear to your shoulder. Good. Let's lift the shoulders up and down. Lifting up and down. Up. One more. Lifting the arms to the side. Circles going forward. These can be big or small. Up to you. And we'll try the circles going back. Just getting ourselves warmed up here. Side bend one way. Reach. Center. Reach. Center. Excellent. Couple more, and now we'll get our feet moving with a march on the spot. Feet, one. And we'll take a step to the side. Step, side, and side. Try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step, side, together. Good, again. One, two, three, four. This time you can drop your shoulders low and low. One more time here. Low, and low, good. Let's bring those feet apart, reach the arms up, and open. Bending the knees, bend, stretch, breathing in, and lower. Bend, reaching up, and lower. And breathe and open. Good, let's pause right there. Fantastic, all right, I'm feeling nice and warmed up. How about you, Philip? Good to go. Let's move on to our choreography. As we're exploring this choreography today, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of imagery. Sometimes imagery while we're dancing helps to remember the sequence of steps that are happening. Sometimes it helps us to really um, explore the movement and what that movement feels like or looks like. As I'm doing that, you have a few options. You can follow along with the imagery that I'm using. You can make up your own imagery for that movement, or you can totally ignore my imagery and just really think about the quality and why and how each movement is happening. All right, so let's begin. I'm taking us to the beach 
or under the water or near the water, and we're going to explore how the movement might incorporate that imagery today. We'll begin with imagining we're making footprints in the sand. So we're going to start with a leap onto one foot and then a hop. So I'm going to do a leap and a hop. Great. Try the same thing on the other foot. Leap, hop. Fantastic. Then we're going to jump those feet apart and just take a little moment to breathe there. So it'll look like this all together. Leap, hop, leap, hop, apart. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Leap, hop, leap, hop, apart. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Excellent. Try that with me. Ready, set, here we go. Leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. And leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Excellent. All right. As we do that, if you're leaping onto a different foot or hopping on a different foot than we are, totally fine. All right. Let's check out the next move. We've done our leaps. Now we're going to make circles with our wrists. And I'm imagining that we're making those circles, um, and I'm inspired by those shapes that you might see in a seashell, those spirals that happen. So that's my inspiration. You can choose what yours is today. But we're going to articulate the wrist and the hands as we move. I'm going to start by taking those circles in an upward shape and then a downward shape. So it'll look like this. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to try and reverse the movement. Five, six, seven, eight. Try that with me. One, two, three, four, and down. Six, seven, eight. Fantastic. You could take those anywhere in the space. So they could be in the shape we just made. They could be to the side. Five, six, seven, eight. They might be low. Maybe they're different. Maybe I have one hand high and one hand low. Totally up to you where you want to take that. But we're really feeling that articulation of the wrist or the fingers, if you'd like to involve the whole hand. All right, so let's add that on to our hops and our jumps, starting from the beginning. Ready, set, leap, go, leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Breathe one more time, leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Wrists, go one, two, three, four, and move. And one, two, three, four, and change. That's it. You may have noticed that I did the circles one way, and then the second time through, I changed it up completely. You can do the same if you'd like. All right, why don't we try those two pieces with the music? We'll have a bit of an introduction, just like I gave you with our rehearsal, and then we'll jump on in. Here we go, ready? And. Leap. Hop, leap, hop, and jump. Try that again. Leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Let's try those circles. Circle one. And circle, try that again. You can change it up. And change. Excellent. Let's add on another piece of our dance. We've started with those hops and leaps and jumps. We've moved into the wrist and articulating and really feeling that movement as it moves through space. Let's add on the next piece, which is going to have a different quality than we've done with the first two. It has more of a smooth quality, almost as if you're gliding your hand through water, like so. And these can move anywhere in the space that you'd like. You can also add a step with that movement as you move. That's it. Excellent, so we'll add on those reaches. So let's have a rehearsal together, starting right from the beginning with those hops and leaps. Ready, set, leaping. Go one, hop, hop and out. Try it again, we do. Leap, hop, leap, hop and out. Circles, go one, two, three, four and down. Change it up if you'd like and in. Reaches, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Great. Okay. So what I'd really like you to think about when we're trying this with the music is how the movement of those reaches, how that feels different than the wrist circles or the jumps that were a little bit more staccato, a little bit more um, direct. Now our reaches are going to have a continuous movement and feeling to them. All right, let's go from the top and add on those reaches. Here we go. Starting with that leap onto one foot. Leap, hop, leap, hop, and out. And leap, hop, leap, hop, and out. Circles, really precise. Reaches are smooth. All the way from the shoulder, through the elbow, to the ends of your fingers. Perfect, great. We have one more piece to add on to this choreography, and then we'll go from beginning all the way to the end. The last piece, I'm inspired by the waves of the ocean or the tide of the ocean. So we're going to create that wave with one hand or both hands, up to you. One, two, three, and then we'll see that wave, the biggest wave yet, with a jump on two feet. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Great. As you can see, there's no right or wrong. If your waves are looking different than ours, totally fine. Let's try just those waves together four times through. Ready, set, waves go. One, two, three, with a jump. And one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Excellent. So you can see that each movement really has its own way and direction and reason for how it's getting from point A to point B. So we'll keep that in mind as we're moving. Let's try, before we go with the music, our reaches into those waves. All right, eight reaches and then four sets of our waves. Here we go, ready, set, waves, er, reaches. <laughs> ready, set, reaches, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get ready for your waves. They go one, two, three, and jump. One, two, three. One, two, three with a jump, and one, two, three. Excellent. Great. Let's try it from the start to the end, and I will talk you through it and guide you as we go. Here we go. Ready to leap onto one foot. Leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Try that again. Leap, hop, leap, hop, and jump. Circles, articulate each circle. Reaches, one, two, really smooth and gliding through the space. Waves, one, two, three, one, two, three. Excellent. Great. That was fun. Now that we've done it once from the beginning to the end, I'd like to try it one more time together, but this time we'll continue. So we'll go from our leaps and hops all the way to the waves, and then we'll start right back at the beginning and try it one more time together with the music. Here we go. Leaping onto the first foot. Leap, hop, and jump. Circles. Explore different ways that you can move. Reaches. Carving the space. Wait.
from the beginning, leap hop. And feet apart. Leap, hop. Circle. Reaches, here we go. Extending all the way through your arm. Last set of waves. And let's pause right here. Excellent, that was wonderful. If you are feeling like I am, it's pretty warm after our choreography there. Let's take a moment to cool down together today. Bring our feet apart. That's it, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. And feeling that lift and length again through your spine and your abdominals. Roll those shoulders back. Good, great. Okay, let's finish today with a little bit of freestyle, a little bit of improv. But I want you to imagine either the waves or the water or the seaweed and how that might move. We're going to start with the movement in one arm, and then we're going to join with the other and the rest of our body. As it feels right to you, you can start to incorporate more of your body as you like. All right, remember to breathe as you're moving. Here we go. Excellent. Starting with one arm, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and the other. Good. Feel free to move to the music as you like. Smooth and gliding, just like those reaches earlier. Does the movement end or stop or continue? If you'd like to take a bit of a step, you can do that as well. And we'll bring our hands by our side to finish. Excellent. Thank you all for dancing with us today. I had such a joy dancing with you. Thank you, Philip, for dancing along. And thank you to all of you.